Using Natural Systems of Recovery. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 545. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of One Community Global. And this is our August 28th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is using natural systems of recovery. And because we're a global sustainability organization, you might be assuming that that is just natural systems of recovering planet Earth. But it's really about natural systems of recovery for humanity, for human beings as well. And arguably first. And what I mean by that is uh, it really comes down to like the foundations of sustainability and why they're important to the individual. So our organization is about using natural systems for recovery by open sourcing and free sharing everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more. And that covers all the foundations of sustainability, sustainable and open source approaches to food, energy, housing, what we call high good approaches to fulfilled living and social architecture, education, economics, and stewardship, like how to manage it all and stewarding our planet. But when you look at natural systems of using natural systems of recovery for human beings, I'm talking about humanity's increased stress loads. I'm talking about increases in cancer rates. I'm talking about increases in suicide. I'm talking about increases in depression, increases in use of pharmaceuticals. And so it's like, how do we use natural systems for improving all of those areas? And I'll tell you, with my background actually being in holistic health, this is how I got interested in sustainability. Because once I learned that the three most common pesticides, or poisons rather, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, that we spray on our food are detrimental to us as well. And we're spraying on those, our food and it kills the soil biome as well. I started really paying attention, you know, and as part of my holistic health training, I also learned that, you know, we're building our homes are with, with toxic materials and we're living in environments that are loaded with toxins because the glues that are used in our, and to, to, in our flooring and in our walls and the paints and things that we're using are off-gassing toxins that are also increasing cancer and have been linked to things like depression and mental disorders and birth defects and th things of that nature as well. You know, and then I started studying as part of this, we were looking at, you know, well, what is what is a fulfilled life? Like, what are the six human needs that lead to happiness? You know, and so those are identified as certainty and comfort, variety, uh, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. And so a model was designed that incorporated all of those different things as the ultimate uh, personal growth environment. And so when we talk about highest good approaches to society and a culture of personal growth, that's where that model was designed on. And so it's like looking at all these different areas. It's not just, you know, and the energy, like I didn't talk about energy, but, you know, sustainable energy to reduce the cost of the energy infrastructure as energy bills continue to go up, you know, to be able to build sustainable energy and eliminate that as one of the, the primary expenses that people are paying for. Same thing for education to be able to provide a kid-centric parent-involved education model that is better than most of the models out there right now and incorporates all of the most revolutionary education models together in one place, which are Montessori, Waldorf, uh, uh, Orff, uh, Reggio, and several others, putting them all together um, in one place, 
the the eight intelligences, which is now nine intelligences, you know, and combining all those to build a an education model that is better than the education that most people are getting, you know, and economic models that include include for profit, non profit, and resource based economy models that are cooperative and collaborative instead of competitive, and then the stewardship models, like putting all these things together is about creating the ultimate living experience for people. And I've talked about this so many times. I talk about that. If we can make all of this, if we can open source and free share all this, and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate living this way is attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing each of these, the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living models, the education, the economics, the stewardship models, all of these things, we're open sourcing and free sharing them as a complete teacher demonstration hub combined to build a complete teacher demonstration hub, but also replicable as individual components so that we can use these natural systems of recovery as either individual components, meaning, hey, grow some food without poison sprayed on it, you know, build ecosystems instead of destroying ecosystems, but so that we can also use them as the complete model to really be a system of recovery for the human soul, for the human condition, for people to live a better life than they're living right now. And so if we can demonstrate that and we can make it easy enough and affordable enough, then the idea will spread its own. And so these teacher demonstration hubs are designed to use natural systems of recovery to heal and help the individual, and in so doing that, to heal and help the planet. And we think that that is the ultimate win-win. And I've even done videos about this. I've talked about selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. You know, if it was just about doing good, uh, I think we would have already solved the world's problems. You know, and so we're creating a model that's designed to better meet the needs of the individual that thrives even more the more you open source and free share it and give it away, the more you invite people to participate, and the more successful you are and the more fun and enjoyment we're having in creating what it is we're doing, we demonstrate the lifestyle as what's possible. Bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all people in life on this planet to demonstrate what we're capable of when we work together, when we cooperate and collaborate for the highest good of all people in life to create a world that works for everybody. And we create a place focused on that. What's that natural system of recovery capable of? What's it capable of for me? What's it capable of for you, your family, friends, the people that just come and visit and experience it and see everything is open source and free shared and available for them to replicate on their own, either it's just like a, uh, a ultra sustainable guest house or growing something they've never perhaps experienced before or maybe our menus that we've created and being able to just prepare food that they bought from the grocery store in a way that they'd never considered before, you know, that's that's prepared with all natural ingredients. It doesn't have any shortening or garbage in it. It's like it's designed to, to maximally support the health and nutrition of the of the individual, you know. And so, putting all these things together in one place to create what we believe, well, what we've designed as the best, most ethical, sustainable environment we can imagine, and open sourcing and free sharing that so other people that agree with us can replicate it as well. So this is what we're doing. We're a 100% volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're designing what we're doing so that anybody that wants to participate can. We're open sourcing and free sharing it so people can do it differently if they want, but still use our work as a foundation for creating something amazing. And um, yeah, this is what we're up to. So if you like this sort of thing and you would like a weekly dose of positivity, uh, visit our website, subscribe to our newsletter. If you'd like to support us in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like to donate, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see all the details and specifics of everything that our all-volunteer team has created in just the last week, visit our weekly progress update uh, blog and, of course, if you would like to access all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything we've created, visit our website. And uh, last but not least, stick around for a couple more minutes and you'll see bullet points and all the major components of our project. And um, yeah, that's what I have to say. So using natural systems of recovery, this is how One Community Global is doing it. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, 
and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.